Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive of energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see what's your person's energy over the connection. What is Pisces person's energy over this connection? This could be somebody you think about, right? If you... Ooh. Okay, we got trust. Okay. And it looks sentimental here. It looks passionate. Right? It it looks like It looks like one of those moments where somebody was just vulnerable and it was like I let it out. I was able to talk. I was able to feel comfortable. I was in the environment, you know, the mood was right, the moment was right, the timing was right. And I was able to be expressive and be able to trust somebody and confide in somebody, right? So I feel like, you know, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation was had or, you know, something. This is Libra energy, right? Brought some form of balance to the connection, right? So that's your person's overall energy of this connection, Pisces. They feel like they could trust you. This person really feels like they could trust you, which makes me want to use a different deck here. All right. I don't want to use in between worlds, but I am. Okay. I'm going to use the in between worlds deck because they tell a great, you know, um, story. So let's hop into it, Pisces. This person trusts you. Right. So you don't have to worry about that. Right. Hope you treat them right because they really do trust you here. So starting off, we have the seven of wands. I feel like y'all been through a lot together. This is one of those connections where like if you if you down, I'm down, right? If you up, I'm up. We together. I support you, right? One of those type of connections. So with this seven of wands, it's like they protective over you. You know what I'm saying? They um they there for you when you really need them to be. You know how some people a say they'll be there, but this person is actually there, right? We got the Ten of Swords, right? And if you look at this Ten of Swords, it's like, okay, whatever differences we had, let's put it behind us. We're able to communicate with each other. We're able to talk about our problems, right? You see that big, beautiful butterfly, right? We're able to change. We're able to transition. We're able to be honest with each other, right? So it's like whatever goes wrong in a relationship, you know, every relationship has its ups and downs. And whatever issues you all have, y'all, um, it's easy to work through them. It's easy to work through them because y'all know how to talk to each other. Y'all been through a lot together. I feel like y'all maybe even kind of like grew up together, been knowing this person for a long, long time. And we have the five of wands here. Right? This is the five of wands. But it looks like um, you're being crowned, right? It looks like someone's crowning the masculine energy. So with this five of wands, it just makes me feel like this connection, it, it, it's great. We trust each other. We love each other. But it ain't been easy. It took us uh, a lot to get here, right? We've been through a lot together. We had to you know, explore and, and go through cycles, right? We had to go through cycles with each other. So we ain't always been in this space, right? So let's see, what is this seven of wands here? My ride or die. This is my ride or die. We do everything together, right? We run together. We run together. Y'all run together. I feel like y'all thick as thieves, right? So let's see, what is this seven of wands in Pisces person's energy? And it's the Six of Cups, right? This is somebody, I felt that energy that you've probably been knowing this person for a long time, right? Maybe a childhood friend. Maybe y'all went to high school together or something. But it's like, yeah, thick as Steve. It's like y'all good friends, companions, right? It's like this person protects you. You, 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 you like, I ain't even want to say like a sister, Right. Or brother. I ain't want to say that because it's relevant to relationships, but it's also relevant to family. You know what I'm saying? And that's how this person feels about you. Right. I know you. I trust you. I'm able to talk to you. I confide in you. We ride together. We've been through a lot together. Right. This is nothing but love right here. This is nothing but love. 
right? It took us, it took us, we had to go through a lot to get where we at, right? So what else comes with this seven of wands for Pisces person's energy here? And we got the seven of swords. It came in the reverse, but I'm going to read it in the upright. Let me look at it. And this person looked pale, right? Look in that zombie image, right? Cold, heartless, right? Right? So what is it like this person tried to protect you from something in the past? The Six of Cups, I feel like this person tried to protect you from something in the past, kept a secret from you. You know, it's like this person did something in the past, Pisces. Hmm. And we know they did something. We know you probably did something because, like I said, y'all had a lot going on. Y'all have a whole history together. And you got to live and learn, right? So what's this Seven of Swords here? What's the, de what's the deception? What's the secret? And it's the Five of Coins. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this person, what's that say? The um women's refuge. Hmm. This might have been a foster child, right? This probably been a foster child. They probably were in foster care or something like that. Hmm. I feel like it's something to do with this person's family. That's really got them to trust you. That that's like what draw y'all together initially from the past anyway a situation with family i felt that a situation with family but either way it go you know you they boo you are the one right so let's move on right let's see what is this ten of swords because you know it's like we can talk about anything right we've been through a lot we've been through a lot king of wands right it's a lot of chaos in people's lives it's look a mom and child a mother and a daughter, right? A, a feminine energy. So it's like, right, this person has got some issues. They, they, they've they, had issues. They have a family history just like you do. I feel like this person probably was placed place to place, right? They didn't have like a stable home. They were lacking, you know, stability around the home, right? But they found a friend in you at the time. Right. So there were many endings between you two and, and rebirths and restarts and reconnecting, you know, throughout y'all time together. And with this king of wands, it's like this person. It's like we finally can have something steady. We finally can like put, you know, talk through our differences. It's like they talk to you about what they experienced in life. Right. This person talks to you about their deep emotions on, you know, if they were a foster child or a person that was placed from place to place for whatever reason, family member to family member. It was like they weren't stable around having stability as far as a home or a family, but they probably had family. Right. If you got that. But anyway, there was a lot of endings. There was a lot of space. You know, it's it's been a long time coming and I feel like you somebody that's been consistent in their life. Right. And they comfortable with you. You know, they respect you. They love you. They protect you. And you feel exactly the same way. So I feel like that's what's kind of like what a, a part of your person's story. Right. Why you all are so close. Right. And they, they just feel like now with this King of Wands, we can have something more concrete, something more stable, something that's built to withstand the test of time. I mean, why not? We've been in each other's energy all this time, right? So let's see what else comes with this Ten of Swords. And it's the King of Swords, right? Your person has always been fighting, you know, their past. Their past. And it's like they they give they they give a lot of respect to you, you know, for being there for them. For fighting with them, they feel like you was a part of this fight. Maybe you were a foster child and maybe you went from place to place and maybe you can understand or just family member to family member, right? It's a lot of damaged families out here. And sometimes, you know, adults don't really understand what type of effect it has on the child to not be stable and always bouncing around or always got to go to Uncle Joe house or Aunt Meg. Okay, so it's just, you know, 
it's it's a history there and it's like they take their hat off to you they respect you you know and appreciate you a whole lot for for being there with them for running off with them maybe y'all was runaways maybe y'all ran away together run away love that was horrible but okay so let's let's see what else comes with this ten of swords <laughs> We got the, the four of swords, right? So it's like, you know, this person feels like they've had to fight their whole life. They feel like they've had to fight their whole life. But with you, I don't know. It, it, it's like they I've been fighting my whole life, but with you, I feel healed. With you is where my peace is. It's with you where I can rejuvenate. It's with you where we could talk and have intimate moments and private moments of, of deep conversation. And, and I get to express myself and I get to release it. You know what I'm saying? And I got a shoulder that I can lean on. I feel like I got a support system. This is the, the part that that really, you know, the glue that holds this connection together is because of the struggles of the past that got y'all like kind of really tight, like thick as thieves. Like, you know, y'all just roll with each other. I feel like it's good energy from two people who had a messed up childhood and through it all, we were still able to stay connected and and be understanding. It was like we was going through some of the same things at the same time. And it was like whenever we ran, all we had was, was each other from different lives, from different places, but going through the same physical experience. And that's kind of like the glue that holds y'all together. That's kind of the, the strong point of this connection, right? So it's like, right, they feel at peace with you. They feel, With you, wherever you at, that's where home is, right? Wherever you're at, that's where home is for, for y'all, right? So let's see, what is this five of wands? You know, this five of wands comes with justice. Because remember what I said with this five of wands, it looked like somebody was being crowned. It looks like, you know, we finally could put the past behind us. We finally could build the life that we want. We don't have to fight no more. We don't have to compete or, you know, be challenged to love each other. We don't have to separate, right? It's like a marriage almost, it looks like, because it's like justice, Right, we can bring it into that karmic cycle. Right, we can learn how to forgive our situation so that we can move on in in that karmic cycle to bring balance to both of our lives to live in a holy matrimony. Because I almost feel like this this person wants to marry you. At the bottom of the deck right now is the sun. It's like we came from the ashes and look at us now. Look at us now. Look how far we've come. Rising like the finished sun. We come from nothing. And we made it. And we still together or still, you know, right where we used to be. We still had those same feelings, same emotions. Nothing about how I feel about you has changed. So let's see what else comes with this five of wands. And we have judgment. Now is the time. Now is the time. That's all I can say with judgment right there. Y'all y'all see the light, right? Y'all see the light. Life life been started, but now it begins. It's in in like a new form. In like a better form, a more fruitful form, or more maybe y'all, you know, started maybe going to church or praying meditated change your lifestyle you know i feel like y'all really did something different and y'all just on a whole new level now because of justice because y'all was able to release you know, that negative energy from the past, all the trauma, all the hurt, all the pain, all the homes that we had to go through and all the things you endure when you have to live that life as a child. I feel like with this judgment, it's like y'all, y'all freed yourself. Y'all didn't let that hold y'all down. 
right? Y'all didn't let that be the life story. Y'all didn't let that call, let those, you know, those issues of abandonment issues and, you know, all the other, uh, mental illnesses or health illnesses that come with living like that. Y'all didn't let that be your story. Y'all did not claim that. Y'all forgave the situations and y'all were able to break the karmic cycle. Made a real big change in y'all life. That's what I feel. And, 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 and that's where the chaos was coming from. Whatever friction it was, it was stemming from that. And to be able to have somebody that I could talk to, somebody that I could trust, that, that knows me deeply better than anybody else. You know, while I want, I want that with me forever, right? I want that with me forever. So what else comes with this five of wands here? And we have the seven of cups. But it looks like we're leaving confusion behind. It looks like the mass is coming off, right? The mass is coming off. And, the, and the, look at this rose here, right? It's like um, we get to come out the darkness. It's like I can't believe we're here. It's like an illusion. Like, is this real? I have to pinch myself, you know, from letting go of the, all of that. It can I truly really let that go or is this just a fairy tale or is this just a fantasy? Right. So it's like some of those memories with that with that six of cups, some of those memories are still there and they probably will always be there. And I think this seven of cups is just your person fighting to stay focused you know, um, making sure their reality is real. It's like they, they have thoughts that they still have triggers, right? But it's weird. It's weird because it's like, <sighs> let me clarify this seven of cups because I'm kind of confused by it. I see this beautiful rose illuminated, lit up, but it's like the only thing that looks like it doesn't belong. And it's like somebody can't believe, like, is this really happening? Have I really released all that guilt, pain, and trauma? Have I really let that go? It's like something that lingers in somebody's mind. It's like something that some it's in the mind, I feel. It's not happening physically. And with judgment, it's like uh, it needs to be released if somebody's still holding on to something from the past. It definitely needs to be released, right? Let's see. I, I just got to know because it's confusing me. The seven of cups confuse me, okay? So the six of wands come with this seven of cups, right? And it's it's just real. Believe, your, believe in your intuition, right? The six of cup, the six of wands is about recognition, right? Being recognized for your accomplishments, right? And accepting it, right? And accepting it. So it's like, don't be confused. This is real, right? Because the trauma, it, it can, it can literally take some people out. But this six of wands clarifying this seven of cups, like, yes, this rose is real. This is the gift from the universe, Right. This is the gift from the universe to to bring y'all and your situation and your past up out of the darkness. Right. This is like y'all work for this. Y'all fought for this. Right. It's recognized. Accept it. Accept it. Take the victory. Right. So that's the energy, Pisces. I hope this resonated with somebody. Look what's crossing it. The emperor, the underlying energy. Look, that's Taurus energy and that's Aries energy. And look, somebody, y'all rose up like the Phoenix sun. Look at the sun, right? And it's like these are two powerful beings. The, the Hierophant, basically. We're going to use that for the Taurus, the Hierophant, right? That's exactly who it is. The Hierophant and the Emperor in there, right? So y'all learn many lessons, right? Y'all smart enough. Y'all wise enough. Y'all passionate enough. Y'all, y'all, y'all strong enough, right? This nothing can tear down the boundaries 
right? Nothing could tear down the structure. This like two strong statues, right? Nothing can tear y'all apart. It's like, this is where we stand. Nothing comes between us now. We are, we got. We did it. We took control over our lives. It wasn't easy. So this is the energy, Pisces, of you and your person. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we have the fifth chakra, and this is the throat chakra, and this one is relevant to communication. I communicate openly and honestly to express my thoughts and feelings clearly. I share my inner knowledge freely with integrity and without fear. My aim is to be fully understood by others. I am open to giving and receiving praise, and I will be careful not to talk excessively and make it all about me. I create space in my own conversation for others to communicate with me. I, I inquire about others' thoughts and feelings as listening to their truth can be uplifting. Wow. Communication is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.